This weekend, clay comes to life at the York Art Gallery as people get the chance to understand more about the art form and its encompassing ceramics. Put on by the gallery to go hand in hand with a new exhibition, it is aimed at giving visitors a more hands-on experience in a way to engage new people in art. And Helen, who is the curator of ceramics at the gallery, explained more about the new exhibition that is now on show. Now, this is a brand new exhibition of work by Gillian Lowndes and it's um, particularly focused on the 1970s onwards when she was doing some really exciting experimental collaging sculptural work um, where she brought lots of different elements together, um, recycling them and, and creating these very strange sculptural objects. Um, well, we've, um, we've managed to pull together um, some quite interesting exhibits that have never been on display before. For example, we've got a case of material that came out of her studio just after she died, and people will be able to see from that how she actually worked. They'll be able to see um, objects that she was working on, that she was putting together, and kind of get a glimpse into how her mind was working when she was creating her works. And also there's um, a collection of Christmas cards that she handmade herself from um, bits of detritus and other objects that she had around her house. So kind of hopefully inspiring people to think about reusing and recycling their own um, waste uh, materials. She then talked about her excitement ahead of this year's event. It's really exciting to have two days this year because the, the, the um, event keeps growing and growing every year. And also this year we've got the annual COCA lecture at the same time. And the, um, the lecturer is um, Alison Britton, who's a really important ceramic artist. And she's um, going to talk about um, the period of time from the 1980s onwards when she was working and also people like Julian Lowndes were working. So talking about the kind of spirit of excitement and creation that was going on during the late 20th century. Curatorial assistant Fiona was able to explain more about how the weekend will run and what people coming can expect. So this weekend we have our annual Day of Clay, although this year it's Days of Clay because it'll be running over an entire weekend. Um, Day of Clay started in about 2016 um, and it's part of the Centre of Ceramic Art here at York Art Gallery. And it's a day to try and encourage um, visitors to come to the gallery and experience new ways of thinking about clay. We don't want people to just think that clay is boring brown pots in a shelf. Um, we want people to kind of explore and experience, get hands on and see clay in lots of different ways. So over the weekend we'll have lots of different activities for people to get involved in. She then talked about how this is part of wide ranging ambitions to make events and exhibitions more accessible to the public. So for me, when I first started here at the gallery, my role was to really kind of encourage more accessibility to the collection. Um, and that's how Day of Clay kind of came about as one of the activities that we could do to try and make the collection more accessi accessible. Uh, since then, it's obviously evolved and snowballed into something much bigger and it's not just about the collection, but it's a way to get people more actively hands-on. I think people learn better when they get to have a go themselves and they understand the material more when they get to have a go. Running for just one weekend only, the annual event is all set to go at the York Art Gallery. And with workshops, speeches and hands-on practice sessions, there's something for everyone that comes and visits as the gallery aims to make ceramics and clay fun for all. Rory Wards, That's TV.